Hello, welcome to Mastermind Gaming's channel. Today I would like to be talking to you about Hearthstone, a thing I would like to start up. And I'm kind of new to Hearthstone still, and my collection is not the greatest collection, but I do like building decks, and I think it's fun to try and figure out some really fun decks to build. So, I'm going to show you my Warlock deck. And this is the Warlock deck that I've been running, and I'm not super high in rank, but it's, I'm just kind of dealing with the cards I have, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below in the YouTube comments. So, let's start off here. Basically, I have a Zoolock deck in a way. It's Zoolock-esque. It's not exactly a Zoolock, <coughs> and it's got a lot of 1 and 2 drop, as you can see. Now, I'm going to start by breaking it down to you and why I choose certain cards. So, Power Overwhelming costs 1. It gives me plus 4, plus 4, and then it dies horribly. So, I use this as a major trade-up. I can drop a 1 drop and then trade up to quite a big trade-up value cost just for 1 mana, but then it dies horribly. So, one of the best combos that I use in this deck is with the Nerubian Egg. It's a 0-2 with the Amazing Death Rattle, summon the 4-4 Nerubian. So, on turn 3, if I actually have the Nerubian Egg and Power Overwhelming in my starting hand, I actually lay this out on turn 2. Turn 3, I can use Power Overwhelming, take out whatever's on their side of the field, and then, on top of that, this thing dies and summons the 4-4. Moving on to Abusive Sergeant, I can also use that with Nerubian Egg, as well as a lot of other creatures. It gives them plus two attack this turn, and that can just really turn the tide of a battle whenever you're trying to clear a board on the enemy's side. <laughs> Clockwork Gnome I use just for a one drop, and it's a two one, and adding that spare part to your hand can really come in handy later on. You just never know when you're going to need that spare part, and the spare parts actually come in handy more often than not. The Cogmaster. Basically, the Cogmaster is a really good one drop because if you have any mech on the field whatsoever, you get plus two attack. So, getting a three two value for only one mana is an amazing value in itself. <laughs> the Flame Up is a three two for one. Basically, the same thing as a Cogmaster. So, and they're both one drops. So, basically, if you can get both of those out on the field, you're going to be making them have to make some tough choices on what to eliminate just because that 3 damage for just a 1 drop mana cost is just going to give them an insane amount of headache. Then we got Void Walker being a 1-3. Not, not the best, but the reason I just put the Void Walker out is because it's a 1 drop and I think it's one of the best 1 drop taunts in the game. I really don't think anything else is better than it early game when it comes to taunts and it just has a lot of benefits being able to protect a lot of other things that you'll see here in a minute. Moving on to the Anoyotron, we have uh, <coughs> that being in the first two drop, and basically it's just an amazing taunt with a divine shield, so it's going to take two hits no matter what for them to take it out, unless they have a silence. Moving on with the Direwolf Alpha, <coughs> the reason I put this out is just because of the amazing synergy you can have with so many of these cards. I mean, you can have a Cogmaster and a Flame Imp out, they're both 3-2s if you have a mech out, and then you pop this thing down in between them, and now they're both 4-2s, and it can just do an insane amount of damage and wipe out a bunch of higher cost minions for your little low 1 cost minions. <coughs> The Knife Juggler comes in because the Knife Juggler it just works really well with a lot of low drops, and since a lot of this deck is low dropped, I feel like it works out pretty well. And then moving on to Mech Warper, one of the best cards for this deck since this deck is a Zoolock, but it also has some Mech insp Inspiration in it. <coughs> it's a little bit different, and with this, uh, I basically use this card if I can right on the very first turn if they don't play anything, even if I have the coin. <coughs> and then the next turn I can use to play a Clockwork Gnome, or... I can play Cogmaster and Clockwork Gnome next turn on the second turn. It just depends on what I have in my hand. The Ruby and Egg, I've already covered what that does. And then the Imp Master. The Imp Master synergizes really well with Knife Juggler, Abusive Sergeant, and a lot of other cards because Imp Master, at the end of every turn, you get a 1 1 Imp. So you can actually use Power Overwhelming on the Imp that you get from Imp Master, and then all of a sudden you have a 5 5 on the field that can take out quite a bit of enemies for being basically free since you get them at the end of every turn, they're kind of expendable. Same thing you can do with the Abusive Sergeant, making them a 3-1. Pretty uh, nice little effect there with those. And then they also synergize with Knife Juggler at the end of every turn. You're going to randomly do one damage to an enemy, guaranteed, because the Imp Master is going to spawn one in. <laughs> Spider Tank? That's a 
pretty debatable card, but I went ahead and put it in just because I'm trying to focus on mech in this deck, and it's a really good card for only three. It's a three four, so you're getting quite a decent amount of value out of it for only three, and especially if you get the mech warper out, you can put one of these out on turn two, and they're going to be really hurting to try and get some board control. Imp implosion. I want to use Implosion just because it synergizes really well with Knife Juggler and it gets, basically I like to save it in case they do a board wipe because <laughs> if they do a board wipe I can at least use that on one of their enemies on one of their enemy minions and I can hopefully kill it or use that or hurt it pretty bad and then I can actually establish board control again works really well with Knife Juggler if you can get them both out on the same turn because then Knife Juggler is going to get that immediate effect especially if you get four of them RK Nullifier, the reason I put him in is because he's a 2-5 taunt and you can't target him with hero powers or spells. And a lot of removals in this game, so not being able to target that can really put a headache on people. Especially since it's only 4. It's not, it doesn't have the best attack, but it's going to usually take at least 2 minions to take it down unless you're already in late game. <laughs> Defender of Argus is really good because it gives adjacent minions plus one plus one and taunt. Now the reason I chose this as being one of the things in my deck is because if you have an imp master out, you can summon those one ones, and you can give them both taunt so they become two two imps, two twos with taunt, and they can just really make them hurt, and they can actually save you a lot at the end of the day whenever it comes down to they have a lot of board control, they're about to wipe you out on next turn, you pull out the Defender of Argus, they have to go through both of those helps out a bunch. <laughs> Piloted Shredder is pretty much an auto include in so many decks now just because of its death rattle. After it's gone it summons another minion so it's like it didn't even die. Anti-Killbot comes in because you're using a lot of card draw hopefully whenever you're playing this because you're so aggro that you're going to be top decking if you don't draw extra cards. So being able to plan that out is amazing and then just being able to get that 8 health back can really be a game changer and really just demoralize the enemy that you're facing. If you go down to 22 health, drop this thing down, turn 5, you're back up to 30. <laughs> Doom Guard is an amazing card. It's probably one of my most favorite cards in the deck, just because it has charge. The only downside is that it does have a pretty terrible battle cry when you have to discard two random cards. <laughs> and the most unlucky thing that can happen, and it'll happen more often than not, is you'll actually have them both in your hand, because I have two of them in this deck. And having both of them in your hand is pretty, pretty much you're going to discard one of them guaranteed, because you normally don't ever want to play a Doom Guard unless your hand's empty and you only have the Doom Guard in your hand just due to the fact that you won't have to discard two random cards if he's the only card in your hand and you play him. <laughs> Lothub is just something I play because there's a lot of board clears in this game and especially for a mage. If you're, versing, if you're ever versing a mage, you know that flame strikes probably going to come on turn 7 or turn 8. So if you can predict that on turn 6 you lay down Lothub, they won't be able to play Flame Strike for another turn. They can really hurt them, especially since you got a 5 5 on the board now, and they don't have a way to remove it. The Emperor is something new I just included in the deck, and I think it's a pretty good improvement since I just got that expansion. It's a pretty good card just due to the fact that you're going to reduce your cost of your hand by one, and that is just such an amazing benefit whenever it comes down to the end game. Whenever you actually have a couple cards in your hand and it's a 5-5 five, five for 6. Pretty good value right there in, a, in and of itself, and it's probably one of your best minions you can play. And it can also be used for lethal at the end of the game if you actually have power overwhelming, and you can keep this thing out. Next turn, power overwhelming will be free. You got a 9 damage minion all of a sudden to hit really hard, and then you can even lay down a doom guard. So I've actually done it before where you lay down the emperor. Next turn you put power overwhelming on it. You got a 9, lay down doom guard. 14 damage right there, that's half their health. They can really change a game really fast. <coughs> so, I really hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys check back again soon because I'll be videoing my 50 card opening uh, whenever the uh, new expansion comes out for the grand tournament. So, I hope to see you there and watch the video. And I'll see you in the next one. <coughs>